Welcome to Shark Farmer, the television show. My name is Rob Sharkey. I'm a fifth generation farmer from Illinois. And yes, I am not in the RFD studios in Nashville. Emily and I have not been able to do our usual travels down there thanks to the COVID. But yes, I am a real farmer. I grow corn and soybeans. We are so excited to give a platform for other people in agriculture, have them featured on a show that everybody can watch, the entire family. So thank you. Thank you for all the feedback from the first few episodes. <sighs> yes, I, I'm aware I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> you, you try just standing there in front of a camera and figure out what to do with your hands. It's awkward. Thank you for those comments, those <laughs> hundreds of comments about me not knowing what to do with my hands. It's great for the old self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway, I really appreciate all the support that we've gotten, and I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you guys want to get to the show. So here we go. Up first, weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. This video is from Craig Hickman from New Zealand. That might explain him driving on the wrong side of the road. Now, I've been to New Zealand, and the whole time I was down there, I was trying to find the toilet that would flush counterclockwise, because that's the story, right? They flush clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. So the whole plane ride down there, I was so excited to see this phenomenon. And actually I went to the first hotel and I had the phone ready and I flushed it and it was one of those sucking toilets. In fact, all the toilets in New Zealand were the sucking toilets, so you couldn't see the swirl. What's the deal with you, Kiwis? Are you embarrassed of the clockwise flush? I was so embarrassed. Now, Craig is borrowing his neighbor's 2030 to run the irrigation reel when he notices a slight wobble. This is literally every shopping cart that I ever get. It bothers me so much that I push down on the back of the cart when I push it so that the wheel doesn't go like that because I feel like everybody's looking at me. The weird bearded guy <laughs> in the household section at Target. But hey, I mean, they've got some nice stuff there. Now, why doesn't the hammer fall out? Need a Brody knob on that steering wheel, though. Nice pants, Craig. Now this weeble might wobble and fall down. This is a video from David Hotchkin. He's a farmer and risk management coach from Iowa. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what he's doing here, but it does explain why he sings soprano. 86 points, is that supposed to be a rodeo score? Because that would be wrong. More like 8.6, David. If I was running that thing, I promise you David would not stay on. A video of David riding a home, and I'm hosting a family-friendly show. Well, it's not like I'm going to throw a fit. This week's Machinery Clip of the Week is presented by John Deere. Lee Wallen is a fourth-generation farmer from Nebraska. He also likes to film his brother-in-law. There's your problem right there. Uh, it'll probably buff out. The real victim here is the hat. He's treating it like an auger cart driver. Here's my philosophy. You're allowed one meltdown during planting and one meltdown during harvest that nobody can hold against you. And that seems reasonable, right? I'm not sure why my wife has not signed on to that philosophy just yet. If he'd only just had tracks. Let's go on an airboat ride. Earl Greenhue is a fertilizer rep up in Alberta and apparently a captain. I mean, is it just me, or did you think that airboats were only down in the Everglades and places like that? No, not Earl. He's stubble boating for canola gators. Honestly, who wouldn't do this? It's a good thing I don't have an airboat. I'd see if that sucker would climb the local elevator's corn pile. You ever watch that gator show on that other network? Chew them! I mean, come on, shooting an alligator attached to a rope? I'd much rather do what Earl's doing. Heck, he could hit a moose. <laughs> Earl reminds me of those guys on Secondhand Lions. You know the two that shot at salesmen and eventually flew the plane into the barn? You go, Earl. Now from riding a boat to this week's Livestock Clip of the Week. It comes from McKinley Todd Cody, and it's from the Remington, Indiana area. Apparently, this orphan fawn was adopted by some cows. Aww. I'm guessing Bambi's mom here met at Kenworth on I-80 somewhere. And the little one here needed a family to hang out with. 
The calves on this video needed to be moved, so the fawn has to go face the world solo now. I'm pretty sure this was also the story of Rudolph. <laughs> See you in the fall, little fella. I'll be the one wearing orange. If you have an interesting or entertaining video or picture, and you think the world should see us, drop us a line, www.sharkfarmer.com. While you're there, check out What The Farm Podcast and the one that started it all, the Shark Farmer Podcast. Catch me Monday through Friday at Rural Radio Sirius XM channel 147 at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 Central. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.